Thank you so much everyone for joining us for our inaugural Hydrogen Awards ceremony. Uh, I think this might be a virtual first hosting an awards ceremony uh, online, but we are delighted to bring uh, some recognition and some attention to some of the fantastic progress that has happened in 2020 and this year. I think the 2020s are going to be very historic years for hydrogen and um, Rob and myself are delighted to have the honor of announcing the winners. The categories are Hydrogen Person of the Year, Green Hydrogen Trailblazer Project, Decarbonizing Transport, Industrial Application Winner, Women in Hydrogen and Port of the Future. Rob, thank you for helping me uh, give out these uh, these uh, awards and over to you. Thank you, Swazik. I'm absolutely delighted to be here with you for our inaugural World Hydrogen Awards. I, I know that we're all looking forward to coming back uh, and doing these in person, hopefully um, next year. But in the meantime, it's absolutely great that we're able to celebrate so many fantastic people, companies and organizations in their efforts in the hydrogen economy. And I certainly know that we've been overwhelmed by the nominations that came in and the, the sheer number of people looking to put either themselves, their companies um, forward for these awards. And as a result, the winners are thoroughly deserved. Now, it's my honor to announce the first winner um, and the category is Hydrogen Person of the Year. Now, I'm sure this announcement is going to come uh, as no surprise to many. Um, we are really, really humbled to uh, uh, talk about some of the real commitment that this individual has shown uh, towards not only hydrogen, but uh, economic uh, wider issues around uh, sustainable energy and decarbonization. Uh, the Hydrogen Person of the Year is none other than Noé van Hulst. Uh, Noé is the chair of the IPHE and Hydrogen Advisor to the IEA and Kazuni. Uh, Noé van Hulst has uh, travelled all over the world to spread awareness about the benefits and the, the, the hopes that hydrogen uh, can act as a solution and an energy vector for decarbonization and has also published numerous articles on the matter. Congratulations, Noe. A very big thank you for receiving this wonderful award. I'm very honored, of course. So a big thank you to the Sustainable Energy Council not only for the award, but of course also for the great work on the virtual uh, summit, uh, the great conference. I hope you are all enjoying it and uh, learning new things since uh, hydrogen is such a dynamic topic right now. So many things are happening and this year will be certainly a year where again a lot of progress on hydrogen will be made despite the difficult times with COVID etc. And uh, well, this is the, the famous award, which uh, again, I'm very grateful for. And uh, I really wish uh, all of you a uh, fantastic uh, conference. Thank you so much. Next up, we have the Green Hydrogen Trailblazer project winner. We had some wonderful nominations for this. There really are uh, globally some incredible projects taking place. But this award uh, has gone to NEOM, Aquapower and Air Products for their NEOM City to Power Hydrogen to Ammonia facility. And I'm delighted to hear from them and they make an acceptance speech. On behalf of Aquapower, I would like to thank the world Hydrogen Summit for awarding us the best green hydrogen project. We're really proud to partner with NEOM and Air Products on this significant green hydrogen project. And we believe that this partnership will further our goals to deliver clean energy. Assalamu alaikum. 
Welcome to Saudi Arabia, NEOM. My name is Roland and I'm responsible in NEOM for hydrogen and green fuels. So I'm bathing in the sun of NEOM and in the sound and smell of bulldozers behind me, which are going to make our dream come true. I'm very honored to receive this award from you, which feels a bit strange because it's like receiving an Oscar for a movie which hasn't been shot yet. I can assure you that we have the actors together, the staff and the producers, and we're working extremely hard on getting this project done. So I'm speaking here for my friends in the meantime and colleagues from Air Products, Aqua Power and Neom, which will make this project come true. And I hope that our project is going to be a milestone to create a new market for a global hydrogen economy. And I hope that this project is going to create an avalanche of other projects which are finally make this something which is sustainable and doesn't need any subsidies. So again, thank you for giving us the trust and the encouragement to move on and make this a big project to happen. Thank you. Our next category, decarbonizing transport, is highlighting progress in one of the hardest to abate sectors within mobility. We are delighted to award uh, this win to H2 Hall and highlight their long-standing commitment to making the transport sector upon which we rely so strongly a bit cleaner and a bit better. Congratulations, H2 Hall. Thank you so much. Woohoo! It's a huge honor to accept the Hydrogen Transport Awards on behalf of Hydrogen Europe and the H2 Hall project. Transport accounts for a quarter of the EU greenhouse gases emissions and traffic continues to grow. A 90% reduction in transport emission is a must to achieve the Green Deal objectives of carbon neutrality by 2050. H2 Hall is contributing to this objective by deploying hydrogen trucks and their infrastructure in France, Belgium, Switzerland and Germany. What does it mean in practice? No CO2 emissions no particle matters, while keeping operational flexibility with no impact on payload, range, and refueling time. Thank you to the Sustainable Energy Council. And of course, a big thank you to our partners, Air Liquide, BMW, Bosch, Colroyd, Element Energy, our coordinator, Elring Klinger, FPT Industrial, Edge to Energy, IRU, Iveco, PowerCell, Sfera, VDL, and WaterstuffNet. This award would have not been possible without your support. We look forward to what we can accomplish together in the years to come. Thank you again. Next, we have our industrial application winner. Again, um, huge amount of entries for this and the overwhelming winners were Star Scientific for their Hero technology, which is utilized in power generation, heating, off-grid industrial heat and desalination. And I'm delighted to hand over to a Sunny Sydney and Andrew Horvath from Star Scientific. Hello, my name is Andrew Horvath and I'm the Global Group Chairman of Star Scientific Limited Group of Companies. I'm holding in my hand a very prestigious award from the Sustainable Energy Council. On behalf of the staff, shareholders and board of management, we are deeply appreciative of this award. This is a reward for all the effort that our technical staff management put into producing something like the Hydrogen Energy Release Optimizer or HERO. I'm coming to you today from the beautiful central coast of New South Wales in Australia, where we have this very large hydrogen facility. This research facility is now undergoing the final phases of pre-production. Behind me is a unique 
heat exchanger powered by Hero. Hero allows us to make saturated steam for energy production, or in fact, any sort of heat-driven energy production, be it in industry, be it in food, or be it in mass energy production. It is important that everybody who put in for this award keep driving innovation. And that's exactly what Star Scientific will do. Thank you. The topic of inclusion and diversity uh, in hydrogen and in energy is of uh, particular importance to the Sustainable Energy Council and we are delighted to recognise the efforts of one particular uh, individual for our Women in Hydrogen category. The winner is Heidi Janoni, Programme and Project Manager uh, and Hydrogen and Energy Advisor at ARIP. Congratulations. Hello, thank you so much for this award. I'm delighted to receive it. It was an unexpected surprise and it looks great. I'm thankful to Arup for nominating me. It's lovely to be recognised for the work I've been doing over the last few years and my contributions to industry. I would like to thank the Sustainable Energy Council for creating this award and contributing to raising the profile of hydrogen. I'd also like to thank the UK Government Department of Bays, particularly Mark Taylor, who is the senior responsible owner for the High for Heat programme. Mark Nella, Arab Energy Director, for his continued support. And importantly, the fantastic team I work with on my programmes and projects. And of course, all other wider colleagues who I will continue to bore silly talking about hydrogen. It's a really exciting time to be working in hydrogen and energy right now. And I think the key to success is collaboration. And it's encouraging to see commitment from government and industry to work together to drive innovations from concept to demonstrations. A lot has already been achieved in a short space of time, but there's still much to do and certainly no time to waste in the energy sustainability space. So I look forward to the rest of the event and thank you for listening. Our final award of the evening is the Port of the Future winner. I don't think it will come as a huge surprise um, to hear that the winner of this is the Port of Rotterdam, who have won uh, this award for establishing a large scale hydrogen network across the entire port complex, involving not just import application and also transport. And we're delighted to hand over to the Port of Rotterdam for their acceptance speech. Ladies and gentlemen, it's an honor to be given this award for Port of the Future, as it is an award that people from diverse businesses and organizations have been voting for. To me, this shows that people recognize that in Rotterdam, we're trying to make a great effort to help businesses to reduce their carbon footprint and to help society at large to reach its climate goals. We're doing so with an ambitious program, almost a roadmap to be carbon neutral in 2050. We're not only active regarding hydrogen, but also with CCS, residual heat networks, electrification and circularity. And we're doing this not on our own as a port authority, but it's a joint effort of private enterprise, the port and public authorities. So look at this award as an award for the whole port community as an inspiration to continue on this ambitious journey. Once again, thank you very much. Thank you, Rob. It's been uh, an incredible, uh, an incredible year for hydrogen, and I have no doubt that the 2020s and the next decades um, is going to be one to watch in terms of, of uh, achievements and exemplars for uh, excellence in the field of sustainable energy. So, uh, well done to everyone, uh, all the nominees and winners for their incredibly, uh, incredibly hard work and uh, dedication. That concludes our first day of the World Hydrogen Summit. Uh, I hope to see you tomorrow bright and early uh, for a number of fascinating sessions and closing off with a regional focus on the Asia Pacific region. See you soon. <laughs>